it's very authentic, genuine and like, thank you. And actually, the quote of uh, Michelangelo is actually one of my favorite. Really? <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. So I have to pinch myself to believe this is happening. Marco, I'm here because of you. In November 2017, you offered me to revamp Vaciotti and design shoes. I declined your offer many times. Sorry about that. I was flattered, but I never had design shoes before. So, I th but I, sorry. <laughs> but you kept insisting. And therefore, I told myself, if someone who is in this business for so long, who also worked with Gianni Versace, <laughs> believes I can do, I should trust I can. I thought the only way to succeed was to create something unique to the market, something new, creative, and refreshing. I took as a reference the most iconic shoe of all the time, the Cinderella glass slipper. With that in mind, the creative process came very quickly. I grabbed a pump from my closet. I, I wanted a silk pink fabric, so I cut my blouse, and I started draping around the pump. And then I put my vintage earrings on top, and it was looking already beautiful, but something was missing, the glass. So, PVC. <laughs> In a matter of minutes, I had transformed an, order, an ordinary pump into a Cinderella shoe that not only was looking new, modern, and stunning, but also functional and durable. Waterproof, dirt-proof, and as I call, champagne-proof. <laughs> I met Marco in Seoul. I had the prototype shoe in one hand and the contract in the other. Since the restaurant was uh, fashion crowded, I passed the shoe under the table. <laughs> he looked at that and gave it back to me and said, let's sign this contract. <laughs> this is my Cinderella story and how Midnight was born. Midnight Zero Zero was born. A brand with a unique and original purpose to allow each customer to sleep on the shoes and live her own fairy tale when the clock strikes midnight. Thank you, Marco, and thank you, Eleonora. Thanks to everyone who is walking this exciting path with us, with me. I have you in my heart, and I can thank you enough for your passion, work, and dedication, and to believe in this mad dream. Last but not least, Thank you, Futura News and Michael Atmore, for this great honor and for giving me the support to keep dreaming.